everybody welcome to the Roy family homestead so I don't know about you but our family of four for some reason or another about once a month I wind up with fruit that's getting a little too ripe to do certain things with so today we're gonna show you how to let this not go to waste Okay, let's start with the peach. So, easiest way to peel a peach, if you're gonna be cooking them, boiling water, take the peaches, gently put them in there for about 10 to 20 seconds. All right, then we're gonna take a slotted spoon, we're gonna take them out of the boiling hot water, and we're gonna sit them over here in ice cold water and let them cool down. Okay, so we've got them back over here. They've sat in this cold water for, I don't know, just a few minutes, but you see that skin, it's just really loose. You just kind of keep moving it around and it'll break and it peels right off. Just that simple. This is the absolute easiest way to peel a peach. There you go. So we'll set it aside. We'll get all four of these peeled. Then I'm just gonna cut these up, dice them, get the seed out of course, and then we can start mixing up our bread. Okay, so we have all our peaches diced up. So let's start mixing the batter. We're gonna take three quarter cups of sugar, half a cup of milk, a half a cup of oil, one large egg, and a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're gonna mix this up. Stir it on together, get that egg to break up. In a separate little bowl, we're going to take two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to mix that together. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients to the wet. All right, and we're just gonna combine these, stir them up until they just are combined, okay? You're making up this batter. I'm gonna stir it too much. Okay. So once we got that good, looks like all that flour is in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold in the peaches now. All right, so we're gonna just fold all those yummy peaches. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. So then we're going to take a greased loaf pan and we're going to pour that in. So 
we've got an oven over here at 350 degrees. We're gonna put that in there for about an hour. We'll check it a little bit for that. When a toothpick comes out clean, we'll know it's done. All right, guys, so let's move on to the next thing here. Some really ripe bananas. All right, so we took three of those bananas and we've mashed them up. We're gonna start getting our batter together for the banana bread. So we want to take the bananas, of course. We're going to take one cup of white sugar sugar. We are going to take one egg. That yolk is already broke on it, but that's all right. And we're going to take a quarter cup of melted butter. Okay, so then we're going to mix this together. All right, just like that. Now we're going to take in a separate bowl. We're going to combine one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to take a fork and mix that up. Okay, and once again, going to pour the dry into the wet and mix until it's just mixed together. All right, and then we take a greased loaf pan and we're going to pour that batter in. and we're gonna go pop it in the oven 350 degrees for an hour. We're gonna go ahead and just put it right in the oven with the peach bread and let them bake together. All right, so bananas done, peaches done. Now let's see what we can do with some apples. All right, so we're gonna make some easy crock pot applesauce. So first, of course, you have the apple and you need to peel and core it. So we have this really nifty little gadget um, that we found on Amazon. We actually saw it for the first time at State Fair. So what it does, it peels and it cores my apple for me and slices. So all I have to do, basically, in the end, we slide those slices off. It makes kind of a little thing here. Isn't that cute? So what I'll do is I'll get these sliced, make sure we get all the pieces of peeling off. I'll come with a knife and slice them in half and then we can get them in the crock pot. little half and that beautiful super easy that one kind of broke but that's okay
We've got lots and lots of yummy apples. Cored, peeled, cut, sliced, all lovely. So we're just gonna add just a half cup of water in here. We're gonna plug it up, put it on high, and we're gonna let it cook until, for several hours, until those apples are soft. And then we'll come back and we'll do the rest. Okay, so they've been cooking for about an hour and a half. They have nice, they're soft. We're kind of, well, I'm just gonna mash them up a little bit here. All right, and then we're gonna add the cinnamon. Now the recipe said to add a teaspoon of cinnamon, but my family really likes cinnamon, so I'm just gonna put a lot in there. I'm just gonna put a lot. And kind of do it to taste. Mix that up. And then we're going to turn the crock pot down to low and we're going to let it simmer for maybe an hour, maybe not quite, depending on how it looks. This is one of those things that you just kind of have to go with it. So turn that down to low and we'll be back in a little while. Okay, so, oh, that smells so good. So the apples and everything are cooked down really well and I'm just, I just go through and kind of smash it with my spoon just so we kind of have a chunky applesauce. If you want it smoother, you can run it through a food processor or whatever. So this is what I'm gonna leave it as. I'm gonna get it over here to the table. We're gonna have a little taste test of this and the breads. Okay guys, so remember at the beginning of the video, we talked about using fruits and stuff that are getting a little bit too ripe, not wasting them and finding another way to use them. So this is what we have. We have peaches that are getting a little too soft, bananas that are getting a little too dark, and some apples that were getting too soft. So we have three different nice little snacks. I wouldn't say exactly nutritious, but homemade and yummy. <laughs> All right, so I've cut the bread off. I'm gonna go ahead and just slice some little pieces for everybody to enjoy. Give a little taste test to see how we did. All right, so here comes the peach bread. It's like peach cobbler. It does. It's very, it's a yeah. sweet. I thought mm. it wouldn't taste good. It didn't look good. It didn't smell good. <laughs> well, it, it kind of smelled, it smelled good, but mm. just, but oh my God. It looks, it has a funny taste afterwards. It's peaches. It's the peaches. I'm eating the peaches part. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's that? good. Yeah. <clears throat> it reminds what? me of peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. It really does. That's delicious. It's about a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, so Maybe now let's give this banana bread a try. Mm, my food. Oh, that's can you your piece. Sorry. Moving a little too fast for Danica. Can't eat, can't eat as fast as we do. You're fine. All right, let's see. It tastes like all the main bread is banana bread. Mm-hmm. That's good. Wow. Mm. Yummy. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I forgot we've, how it tastes. We've had this before, but, and I can't get enough of banana bread. I love it. Mm-hmm. They had this before. Mommy made it before, but mm. I forgot the taste, so I want to eat it. Mm-hmm. They're absolutely delicious. I want to try the applesauce. Okay. <laughs> All right, just remember it's hot. Okay, so blow it off. But don't get mine yet. I'm still You're still eating. Daddy? Yeah. The spoon's kind of hot. It's not like Mommy, it's not will like hot. you wait for me until I get ready? Sure. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Daddy's like, I'm on it. I want it. That's good. It just blow. Remember, see the steam? It's not real, real hot, so. You ready? Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Mm. I am on. Delicious. Mm. Very good. I'm going to take awesome. a little bit so the Very spoon good. doesn't get so hot. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to join you. Hey, oh, man. yeah. Mm. Be careful. 
I really just swallowed it because it was so hot in my mouth. <laughs> Soak on it next time. That was yeah. delicious. Mommy, what if we finish All right, it looks thing? like the applesauce may not make it to a jar. Probably. So, but anyway, <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. And as always, have a great day.